What's up guys and welcome back or to the channel. Today is a super exciting day. As you can tell by looking at the driveway here, we got our 2019 Hellcat. Something is missing and our 17 Ram 2500. Over there we got KD 6.0 build, so if that's what you were guessing is missing, nope, we still have that. I don't know which order these videos are gonna be uploaded, but we're in the middle of an exhaust install. We had to order some pipe for the uh, F250 because the factory cat wasn't even there, but we we're supposed to reuse it, but you get the point. So we ordered some pipe, it should be here. If you see our purple Chevy in a video after this, you know why. Um, at the beginning, it, we're in the middle of an install, so it's not like I told you guys I got rid of it and I didn't. Purple Chevy is gone. The new build is sitting right behind you guys right now. Charger is our continuing project. You know, pick at things here and there. I'm going to change the badges and stuff here soon. Uh, do a few other things suspension-wise, and you know, if I get real bored, we may go under the hood. But that's just kind of like the tinker around build. This thing, we've done it all to our uh, 17 Ram, obviously. Um, still going. Head studs are done, running great. Uh, gonna be throwing that compound turbo in there soon and getting it re-geared. And uh, it's gonna be an animal shifting through those gears, whistling and just having you know the factory gearing back. It's gonna be a fun truck to drive. Like I said, 6.0, we got a lot of stuff going on. Lift kit and all is right here. A lot of bank stuff going on that. So you guys will see that video next. We're really tackling stuff on that 6.0. Build, <laughs> but now I'm gonna show you guys the new build on this channel. I was pers I've always wanted to build one of these trucks, and some people will sit there and like that's not a truck. Um, to some it is, to some it isn't. I'm just gonna label it as a truck to keep your minds turning right now. I've always wanted to build one. This is something that you don't see done often, you don't see on the internet, and you know, just truthfully. It's completely different, and when we're done, oh my goodness, this thing is gonna be bad ass. Let's take a look. That's right, guys. <coughs> Woo, choking on mics. <coughs> Whoa, choking on my excitement, guys. Here we have our Chevrolet Tahoe. Very few people build Tahoes. And when they're usually done, they're lowered with big wheels or they're like lifted, beat up, rusty, like farm town kind of kind of build, you know what I'm saying? And nothing against either of those. Just like any vehicles you own, you put your own touch on it, you put your own thing on it. And that's why I'm here with our 2012 Chevy Tahoe. It's a vehicle that like I said, you see two different ways. Usually they're lowered, they got big wheels on them, uh, and just stuff like that, making them like low riders and super cool sound systems in the back. But also, I mean, you'll see them lifted. Just standard, like beat around, beat up truck, you know, kind of like country, very country vibe kind of build. But guys, we're gonna take this 2012 Tahoe and put our own spin on it. That's right, guys. My plan with this is we're going big, big wheels. I'm not talking 26s, but big wheels for the lift. I do want it semi-wide, but not too wide. <clears throat> I already have a lot of stuff on order. We're gonna be getting rid of this chrome. Me thinking about it, I might see if I can get some other headlights. I'm in the air about going um, tow mirrors on this. I don't know, the Boost Auto Parts ones are sick. Uh, I think we'll just have to see how it is <clears throat> when we get it in the air. Same thing with the taillights. I don't know what I wanna do. I love this factory smoke on them. I seriously do. But if we're going, you know, red and black on this or another color and black on this, I may switch out those factory tails even though I love them so much. Now here's my thought on the color. We'll get to the inside, show you guys just how pristine this thing is in a moment. But I wanted to talk to you about this factory. It's called red. I think it's like red tint coat uh, 
uh, if I remember correctly. Let me get you a sun shot here. We do need some buffing, but it's definitely lighter than our old Silverado. And this red in the sun, oh my goodness, is it just, it's just stunning. This color is actually beautiful. The paint is in very, very good condition other than needing, uh, uh, you know, buffed out. Pretty much on both sides, it does need buffing, but the paint's in good condition. Only minor flaw is you have your typical Chevy. Um, it's not rusted through, but there are paint bubbles uh, on this fender and the other fender, but we may fix those, we may not. I don't know, we're thinking about it, but uh, those are the only real problems with this vehicle and paint are these kind of paint bubbles over here. Under here, you guys can see this frame isn't hasn't been painted. Uh, it's just, you know, weathered. You know, and it being weathered, it's in amazing, amazing condition. We may and will probably touch it up uh, when we do the lift and stuff on it to make it look pretty. And then the same thing up front, you guys can see that the frame is, it's just weathered. Not really rusty, it's just weathered. But, you know, all the brake lines, everything, look at that awesome condition like new condition previous owners really took good care of this power lift gate you know three row seating um all the way back it's super clean in here honestly carpets don't look like there were years of kids snacks and stuff in here for it being like a family car it is ridiculously clean <laughs> back seat this is hilarious but super spacious Ooh, we got our rear climate controls lots and lots of room in here guys in the cockpit, obviously you guys already know, 5.3 liter V8 under the hood. To be honest, it's kind of slow. By kind of, I mean really slow. I want to see what I can do horsepower wise on this. I know it's a Tahoe, but you know, if we could lift it and supercharge it, I think we're going to have some fun. Best part about this, guys, this is in fact a 4x4 Tahoe. What you guys don't know is, I didn't actually know until about a couple months ago that Tahoe's do come two wheel and four wheel drive. I didn't know that. So when I was looking for a Tahoe, you best know I was looking for a four by four uh, that we can lift, take off road, do whatever. But I definitely was not settling for a two wheel drive and finding one at this age, this price, this clean. Oh baby, I had to jump on it as soon as I saw it. Other stuff, usual stuff, garage, you know, door openers, sunroof. I haven't had a sunroof in a vehicle in forever. My last sunroof, well, technically my Jeep, but actual like sunroof that I can open was my 06 Ram. I had a Laramie with the sunroof. It's been a minute and honestly, kind of digging it in this big SUV. Like I said, I'm a truck guy. So this is a whole new world for me, and I'm guessing a whole new world for a lot and a lot of you as well, because you don't see them done. You don't see them built at all. Deep center console, little place here for some stuff. Also weird, I haven't had a truck with a center console in forever. I don't think ever, really. My F-250 was a bench seat. My 06 Cummins was a bench seat. My 17 Cummins, bench seat. So having like a truck SUV with a center console, almost makes it seem like official and business-like. I kind of love it. What I don't like is this. So I'm gonna see what we can do, see what kind of dash kit we can get, carbon fiber, I don't know. Something, the, the, the wood grain, ah, that's tough. You know, heated seats, memory seats, uh, eject button, literally you push the button, your chair like moves back and then you can exit. Kind of weird, but whatever. I didn't know there's a manual button back in the day power windows power mirrors uh turn signals in the mirrors i don't know if they're heated or not dual climate control and your this is actually my favorite factory radio like gm like without the screen favorite radio of all time and obviously our column gear shift which i haven't had in forever either uh backup camera comes on in the mirror i'll show you guys we're actually going for uh, a spin for where the tahoe belongs in a minute but um we'll go for our first test drive in this it's gonna be a different build than you're used to and I know that but you know what when we're done I can tell you right now a few of you have lost interest some of you are like well what the heck can you do with this but I can tell you right now these wheels are absolutely hideous and if we just switched them out on a leveling kit which we won't do we will be lifting this it will make this truck SUV so much sicker literally this thing is gonna be oh, just badass when we're done 
we're gonna take care of the bulldog stance we're putting spacers in the rear you guys already know how these um independent fronts lift especially the silverados how the fronts kick out and the rears are still tucked in about one and a half two inches so we're gonna do spacers it's gonna be balanced and uh the same distance out all the way around thought about a roof rack with some like casey lights or something i don't know but the thing is the sunroof so i don't really know how much that limits us in this situation but I'm telling you, we're gonna get crazy. This thing is going to be nuts. So shoot this video a thumbs up if you guys are excited. I know it's not green, kind of vibing with the red. Thought about wrapping it green, but if I wrapped it green, the suspension color wouldn't make sense without the wrap. So <laughs> the suspension color I wanna do on this would make sense the way it sits. But we'll see, we'll play it by ear, see what you guys are thinking. Shoot this video up if you are excited to see somebody build a badass SUV on youtube all right guys literally first drive here in our new tahoe which is absolutely crazy and me driving this is here and i just picture it the way you know i have it in my head and me driving it that way when we're all done this thing is just going to be absolutely nuts when i i mean as i'm thinking about it um to see something like this so stock so almost you know obviously typical like mom car like family car like yeah, I'll throw all the kids in the back. Yeah, we just got back from the grocery store, so it's like, and it's in, in its own natural habitat. But when we're done with this, we're gonna turn something so like simple, family, momish into something honestly badass. But I have vision in my head. Um, when we pull it off, it's. I mean, you're gonna talk about a full-out transformation with this thing. So first thing I did notice like driving a Tahoe or like an SUV it is probably the best riding truck that you can get um the same thing with the Ram I mean it's a truck with rear coil suspension so this is pretty much a you know a 1500 with a rear coil suspension and oh my goodness it rides probably one of the best riding vehicles I've ever actually owned everything's like super smooth going over bumps is just like just soft Oh my goodness. I mean, we got a really good condition Tahoe for what it, <gasps> what? A road trip car. Oh, road we trip. We can car. take us to Michigan. Yeah. Wow. Hockey in the back. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of room for all my luggage. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, literally family car, but we're going to take it. We're going to lift it. We're going to make it, you know, badass. But the same time it's just so like comfortable to drive smooth over bumps i'm truthfully excited about this and honestly once we get the lift done i'm gonna assume it's gonna ride pretty much the same if not better so our lifted vehicle riding like this because i mean you're just making the stock opponents bigger and depending on what kind of suspension we go with up front it may ride even better than this and that's honestly mind-blowing because everyone's used to you know lift your truck and it obviously rides just almost the same bit rougher but this thing already rides amazing so if we get the same ride quality out of it when we're done this is going to probably be the ultimate like lifted or off-road vehicle 109,000 on the clock nothing's leaking under the hood knock on wood um everything's clean it looks great um and it's just Oh man, I don't know. We do need to get these windows tinted. I want to do the windshield on this. I'm just in, my eyes hurt from the sun. Uh, the side, I don't like being so, you know, visible. I don't know if I want to do 5% on this thing or 20. Still up in the air on it. Yeah, but we're going to get this thing lifted. We're going to get this thing off the ground. Oh, it's going to be an incredible and definitely different build. Honestly, the way it looks, it looks good. It honestly does look good for a vehicle, but I do not like the wheels i just don't like how it's sitting so i want to get this thing lifted in the air and just you know get this build going as soon as possible guys this is an absolutely crazy crazy platform honestly super luxury inside like i said family vehicle something super neat gm used to doing these old vehicles it does have the backup sensors that's what the beep was but backup camera is in the mirror she just looks mean and it looks really really mean and i know it's going to look even better when we get it in the air contemplating bull bar grill guard something on here i don't know 
but we got lots of stuff planned, lots of stuff coming. Uh, obviously, want to you know mess with the headlights, see if we got some uh, you know black fogs that we could put in there, bring it all together, get all the chrome off of here. Already got black badges and stuff on the way. We got the car, we got the truck. Now we got the SUV. Obviously we're missing the fun SUV. Yes, I was looking at Jeep Wranglers, but you know what? Too commonly built. There's nothing new in them at the moment. Yes, I will buy a Jeep and yes, I will build one, but I'm waiting on, honestly, I'm waiting on a stick shift with a cool factory paint to be on a lot somewhere. And then I definitely go pick it up. There's no reason for me to buy a Wrangler. I don't want just to build it and you know you, you take the kind of the heart out of the build and to be honest that 1500 Chevy I knew I bought it to just kind of like fix up and like turn around and as I built it then I got attached to it but you know what with this Tahoe I'm kind of attached to it already so I'm you know I feel like I could put my full heart into this build and I want to make it something like this I truthfully do I really want a full, you know, powdered suspension. I want to do, if I can figure it out, coilovers for the size lift I want to put on here. I would love to make it happen. This thing lifted, like, I mean, I'm talking lifted. Big tires, decently wide wheels. Tin it out, make it literally, I'm, I'm right now, I don't know if I want to get it green. I know I said this last time, but I don't know if I want to make it green or just look at how awesome this like ruby red tint coat factory paint looks. It's honestly a beautiful color. So I don't think I wanna mess with it too much. And the route I'm thinking suspension wise will probably bring this, you know, average Rune Tahoe, which is actually kind of like a candy reddish tinted metallic, I don't even know how to explain it, Tahoe to some serious life. And I think we're gonna have an awesome time doing it. Welcome the new build to the channel. This is gonna be an absolutely fun, amazing time, amazing build. It's gonna look absolutely badass having that kind of duo in the driveway. What I have envisioned in my head, you guys are gonna go nuts for it. You guys are gonna love, I promise that. Shoot this video a thumbs up for some original content here. I don't see anyone building these. I honestly don't see it being done. And if they do, it's kind of like, you know, a little bit here, a little bit there, whatever. We're going all out on this. So shoot this video a thumbs up, guys. Um, <laughs> if you haven't been here before, please get down there, click subscribe. Everything here is going to change so much in a little bit of time. So stay tuned, guys. Get excited. I cannot wait to bring you guys along for this. I will see you guys in the next video. Everything is going to get rolling.